If you have recently seen 10 tier microservices application, 11 tier microservices application or any sort of tier microservices application, that's everything is a scam. Yes, I said it. Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of Let's Talk DevOps. So um, first of all, uh, people who are watching it on 25th or New Year, Happy New Year to you and Merry Christmas. So uh, let's uh, come to the topic and we're going to talk about uh, tiers in the application because I've seen that since a uh, few months, people are talking about 10 tier application and 11 tier application, and they're actually not an applications. And you need to understand what exactly is a tier in an application. And in one word, I would say that there is nothing known as 10 tier or 11 tier applications. Uh, I will show you a repository uh, in this video further. So according to that logic, if it's there are 10 applications, 10 microservices uh, in an application, that means it makes it 10 tier. So tomorrow, if I'm going to have 50 microservices or 100 microservices, that is, does that make it as a 11 or uh, 100 microservices or 100 tier application? That does not happen. All right. So people uh, should be responsible who make videos on these kind of things, because first of all, that's an open source repository and anyone can do anything. You have to be responsible you have to take care of everything that you show on your channel because or anywhere you uh, do on social media because people follow you and there are people who cannot distill the information and they do not understand what exactly is a tier how is it going to uh, happen and then they create videos on it uh, and then they create content on it then they create projects on it they write in their resume they go to the interview and tell okay i have done 10 tier application i have done a 12 tier application and so on and so forth and because of that they might piss off a few people Personally, if I win, I would have been an interviewer, I would have been pissed off by this kind of information. So um, make sure you are responsible enough and to talk more about it, let's get started. Okay. So uh, first of all, I'm not here to create any sort of controversy over here. Uh, this is just a message to all those few folks, all those influencers who are into the business of making content, who are into the business of selling these courses, creating their batches and uh, spreading information. And they do not do enough R&D on that. This is the exact repository which I'm talking about right now. You can see uh, this is something known as online boutique established 2015. This is basically a project and it now says microservices demo previously it was uh, microservices microservices 10 tier architecture or 11 year, uh, 11 architecture I, I don't i don't know so people are creating videos on this and telling that there exist an application which is uh, known as a 10 tier application or 11 tier application and and people are believing it that there are thousands of followers who are creating projects on this and they are saying that it is exactly a uh, uh, and an application for that first of all this is not an official repository this is more of an open source kind of a thing where you can go and make changes accordingly okay and it's, it's a good one i mean if you want to practice you want to go into the world of gcp architecture and kubernetes and everything you can just go through it because there's multiple things available over here but this is not an official google project this is not an official repository anyone can do any sort of changes in that and people are selling it as if as if either they have created it or uh, the information they are just reading it out uh, they do not understand what exactly is the architecture so that's why i'm saying that stop believing everyone you see on the internet with respect to this okay so this is the repository that i was talking about uh, now they have uh, uh, removed you can see see now it says sample cloud first application with 10 microservices showing kubernetes istio and grpc okay previously it was 10 tier architecture or 10 tier microservices the word tier is something that i cannot digest so I made sure that I get into it and make it sure, make sure that people should have exactly same information that I possess and the real information basically, which they can talk about in the interviews. And if you are the one who has used this repository or have created a project on this repository, please do not write 10 tier application. Tier is the word that you should not use. I'll tell you why, because there are only three layers. If you are going to, if you are from the software world and if you understand what exactly is a tier, presentation layer, logic and the database part, three tiers, you would understand after deployment of this project that there are only three tiers that exist in this 10 tier microservices or tier word is something that I'm not happy with or I cannot digest. All right. And you can see there are 5.9 K folks. So these are, this is how many people have worked on this repository. This is how many stars. It's a good repository. Good, good one. I mean, spreading information is great, but please make sure because people uh, are not able to freshers who are not able to distill the information they will believe that there exists something and tomorrow if they're going to create around 50 microservices or 100 microservices they will say key 
uh, my uh, application is around uh, 100 tier appli application and this and that so please do not do that okay uh, that being said um, people um, just make sure whom you follow people just make sure how things look like at the end and do a little bit of google from your end so that you are not in an issue when you go for an interview or write you you write this project in your repository all right with that being said let's understand what exactly are the tiers and let's talk about it okay so the first thing that we're going to talk about about the first layer is your presentation layer okay the second layer we're going to talk about is your business logic i hope my no s comes first and then like this business logic okay and the third one uh, is your data data layer basically you can say data layer or data access layer okay tier or layer basically what you call it okay so these are the only things that exist over here uh, in this application as well and uh, in order to understand it let's understand it through a uh, diagram basically so let's talk about the uh, first presentation layer so presentation layer is basically a top layer and is responsible for presenting the information to the user i mean this is what user would see uh, if the person is on any sort of browser or something this is more of a presentation layer the user this is the user he or she would see this kind of information and it's typically consist of user interface and is often implemented using a web web based technology uh, for an example you have html right you have css uh, you have JavaScript and there are other front-end technologies which we talk about. Okay, so this is something that we talk about. Next comes your uh, business logic or, or application logic, a lot of people call it. In this, uh, this is basically a middle layer as you can see and contains the business logic of the application. Okay, it processes user input and generates appropriate responses. So this layer is implemented using programming language. So uh, you can either use PHP for this, you can either use Java, uh, you can use uh, Python uh, for this or any, any programming language, C Sharp, .NET, anything. What is so basic, basically it will contain your business logic and everyone who is going to talk from the presentation layer to business logic it's going to take the inputs and do the processing part okay but as soon as the business logic happens you need to store information over somewhere and, and that's where your data access layer comes into play so this is the bottom layer and it is responsible storing and retrieving data so basically everything that relates to data the storing part uh, uh, the the retrieval basically it's going to come from that okay i'm sorry about that it, will, it, it includes basic uh, basic databases like MySQL, PostgreSQL, uh, something like that. So basically you got, right? So uh, when we talk about three-tier architecture, in this three-tier architecture, each layer is designed to be modular and independent of the other layers. So all of them are independent of e each. That's why they are called three tiers because there is no dependency. Okay. I mean, dependency in terms of talking to each other is fine, but uh, not exactly dependent on each other. Uh, for example, you are, suppose you are building, let's take an example of uh, this application only, right? Uh, what was the application? I'll come over here. This is more of a, uh, what we call is online boutique, which means it's a e-commerce application, right? I think there was a link over here. Let me check if I can see. Uh, okay, perfect. So someone has deployed it. So this is more of an e-commerce application, right? I mean, you can go here, buy stuff and do things over here, right? So, uh, when when we talk about this uh, we it's more of a suppose you are developing an e-commerce uh, website that allows customer to browse products and add items to a shopping cart and we took an example of this as well right so uh, this presentation layer we have in, we have application logic layer we have data storage layer so this three tier architecture might be implemented as follows in that so in the application which i just showed you there would be a presentation layer i'll write that as ppt and there would be an application logic uh, I'll write that application logic layer basically and then you have your uh, data storage uh, layer basically okay so uh, in this presentation part the presentation layer consists of a web page that customers interact with these pages display product information which I showed you this will allow customers to add items in their cart and provide checkout process so this is written on HTML CSS JavaScript and anything that relates to mostly front-end uh, tech right front-end what you see and then you have application logic layer in this you uh, process user input and generate appropriate responses for example let's say uh, when there, there is a customer over here right and goes over in the front end uh, add some information uh, uh, add some uh, let's say buying a wallet and adds in the 
uh, it, it's basically a logic right it's add in the cart okay the application logic layer receives the request from the presentation layer and processes it so this process is possible by this application logic and it will calculate the total price among the other things and once that processing is complete the application logic layer generates an appropriate response to be sent back to the presentation layer all right so this is how uh, basically it, it it works over here and then uh, how does this uh, data storage layer works so this data storage layer is responsible for storing and retrieving data so let's say the person has bought the information uh, in uh, the product the wallet and there has to be a database right in that database there would be a name of this person let's say i am the only guy over here so my name is ravish so ravish has bought on 23rd of uh, December, a wallet, and all of this information for let's say uh, hundred dollars. Dollar comes first, okay. So uh, this is the information which we have to store somewhere, right? Because I would like to have my cart checked, uh, the orders if I want to check uh, where I have bought it from, how I have bought it from, how much was the price for this. So this is something that we are going to do, and for that we need our data to store the information, and that's why we use this. So basically product information customer details order history everything would be stored in the dsl uh, this data service layer storage layer basically so uh, why do we need them because by using a three tier architecture the e-commerce websites can easily modify and updated uh, be updated without affecting each other uh, part of the application for example the presentation layer can be updated to improve the user interface for example tomorrow if i do not like front end and let's say uh, yesterday i have written it angular now i want to write it in react um, so I can update it. Okay, so updating this won't affect this. All I have to do is change the connection strings from the database, and I can just change the information. All right. So that's what easily can be done, and that's what I was talking when I was talking about independent. Okay, so if someone asks why do we need them, so they are independent of each other. Okay, um, and the presentation layer can be updated to improve the user experience without requiring changes to the this application logic because logic would be the same or the data storage layer because you just have to retrieve the data, right? Just uh, change change the connection strings in the code which leads to uh, the, uh, the the presentation layer basically. Okay, I hope uh, you have understood this part. Just wanted to uh, point out that please do not believe everything that you see. Now it is uh, corrected because previously it was uh, 10 tier. Now it is corrected. And I request everyone who has created projects on this or um, just write them in, in, uh, in, in their resume that it's not 10 tier, it's just 10 microservices because tomorrow if there are 50 microservices, it won't be a 50 tier microservices. All right. So this is very, uh, not very, not very good in, in, a, in a good sense that people have this kind of information and they talk about that in their interviews and in their resumes all right and people who are creating videos on this should be responsible enough uh, to understand to just google to at least google that like, if there is anything uh, that exists like this because uh, in order to be I mean, there is nothing wrong when uh, in, in writing the flashy post on uh, with the likes and the views and everything and the problem is people who are your followers uh, won't be able to understand won't be able to distill the information and they'll believe that this thing is correct okay i hope i have uh, uh, told my message to everyone i'm not here to create any sort of controversy and i'm i won't be taking names uh, who people who are doing this and creating this sort of stuff is just a request that whenever you create content just be responsible enough all right thanks folks and i'll see you in the next one